Marie Therese is very curvy and soft in blue and yellow. The fashion and hairstyles of the 30s give Picasso countless opportunities to indulge his comic side. Picasso was always very fond of hats, which offered him endless composition options in terms of shapes and metamorphoses. Ironic representation of feminine beauty, simultaneously a monster. Evil desecration. Women painted dramatically and like laughing fits. Hybrids of greyhound and rat, for which even his dog, Kabuk, sat as a model. child monster, a boy with a lobster, painted in 1941. A meaningful resume the radical rejection of all the idealizations of childhood. After Velázquez and Goya, Picasso gave his monsters contemporary shapes. Not charming, a noble girl with a masculine appearance. The war, occupation and open violence leave their traces in these dark works. If Picasso had wanted to seduce, nothing and nobody would have been able to resist, but he chose to be the bad guy and to stay to the end. His lack of inhibition towards things, people and art is in actual fact confidence, the source of good and bad in a man who summoned up his struggle with the words, I want my pictures to look like raped traditional painting. In the end, the constant news starts always deeper, always closer to the beginning, which indicate Picasso's tenacity of a single source. The old madness of the artist, its desperate envy of God. Record, say, knock down, provoke what you desire with violence.
Picasso said, God is an artist like any other. He invented the giraffe, the elephant, the cat. He has no real style. He's still experimenting. Picasso is envious of God. He has less power, but a greater sense of humor. Creation against creation, scandal against scandal, mechanics against mechanics, surgery against surgery, anatomy against anatomy, death against death, shape against shape. Picasso says, I think in a series of leaps of thought, a row of jumps from peak to peak. Day-to-day -day objects turn into stimulation, to vehicles of my thought, like the parables did for Jesus, he explains to his partner of the time, Francoise Gillot. Desperate magic, affecting things, grasping them, holding them up against the law. The day when I understood that, I knew I had found my way, said Picasso. Monkey and Her Child, 1952. The laughter that raises a joke to something affectionate, the irony that rescues all previously painted mother figures from bland sweetness. For this almost perfect portrait, he uses the toys of his children, Claude and Paloma. canvas in the studio. Nothing shows more clearly Picasso's contempt for contemporary illusions and exaggerated complaints about the end of art than his often expressed love of the painting of the past, which he also referred to in his work. His points of reference are Engre, Delacroix, Manet and Velasquez. The great strength the great challenge. He sets the standard as high as he can. In Las Meninas, Maids of Honor, Velasquez wanted to paint painting, but this subject is endless. Picasso wanted to go further and paint the painting of painting in a brilliant and tenacious search for what can be composed. painter and the devilry of painting. <laughs> 